Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Eko Simpson. I've already introduced you to the Fossil Lagoon, the path, and then the Gulf of Guinea, the sea. I've already made mention that the Gulf of Guinea serves the people of Cape Coast an economic event or activity. Mostly the men do fishing. The female, they are fishmongers. They buy the fish, smoke it and sell. So economically, uh, fishing is one of the activities that put food on the table of many people here in Cape Coast. Aside that, on my left, you could see the Fossil Lagoon. The Fossil Lagoon has a spiritual benefit to the people of Cape Coast. You know, when we are celebrating our festival, Oguafe Tuafashe, a month to the celebration, there is ban on fishing in the Fossil Lagoon. So basically they put a stick and then they tie something around it to let everybody know that you don't have to go fishing in there. Now, a day to the Grand Deba, there's an activity where the people, the chief, the elders, the whole beautiful community of Cape Coast celebrating the festival together with priests. They go there, perform some rituals, take out their stick and the first two, three people will be allowed to cast their net to see the beautiful catch that they would have. Fast forward, about 30 seconds walk from where I am describing, is Asasipa. This is Asasipa. When I was young, anytime there's a festival, when you come here, you have a whole lot of people with their food, with their families, their children, whatever, whatever. You find them here celebrating the festival, not only festivals, even during Easter, during Christmas, you find people here. So I used to call this place Parks and Gardens. I want to give you a brief history. Listening to uh, an elder speaking, talking to my father, I grew up here in Bacano. So where we are standing is just one minute walk from Bacano. I'll show you a video of Bacano, the runabout, where I had my first accident. <laughs> anyway, we're not here to talk about that. So. This place was originally traditionally owned by an Asafu company called the Inkum Asafu Company. You want to ask, Eko, what is Asafu Company? So the first people who migrated from Efutu this way to Cape Coast settled here. And they formed a little army, which is called Asafu Company. So they call themselves Inkum. Here in Cape Coast, we have about seven Asafu companies. Inkum is the first Asafu company that located, that found the beautiful Cape Coast that you are seeing right now. Fast forward, government do come, they go. When they come, there's always a negotiation. Hey, we love this land of yours, we want to keep it. So the government made preparations to take this property. As I speak to you now, when you go to the Ghana Lands Commission, you would find the name state-owned or the government of Ghana on this property. So it means that, first of all, let me show you around, come. So first of all, this place doesn't belong to an Asafu company anymore. If what I'm saying is right, that when you go to the Ghana Lands Commission, you wouldn't find income on the property. You find government of Ghana. Some years passed, the government came and government went, like I said. And one particular government that came took ownership of this property. So therefore, this land would be managed by the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly because the government, the central government, wouldn't come and do certain activities because this is a state-owned uh, property. Therefore, it is the local government, the CCME, that overlooks the activities of this property. Speaking to an elder who grew up here, he said that in the 70s, the government of Ghana owned this property, gave out a lease to one uh, solicitor or barrister called Emil Short. Emil Short, most of you, if you Google him, he, he became the, I think the commissioner of um, Shraj, children, blah, 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 that kind of thing. So he managed this place and he introduced a club, a nightclub, where we called it Cupid. Q 
stupid. So this information is coming from my dad. Yes, my dad lived here. We all lived here. Uh, we were born here and everything like that. So Cupid was a nightclub. And my dad would say that in the 70s, all those younger brothers and sisters used to come here and party. Yes, they used to come here, drink some wine, drink some beer, chew some chicken and all that. So this place was like a public uh, property where people would come here and have fun. But aside that, the government was also trying to introduce Ghanaians building with raw materials that are made here on the motherland. So the government started a project called Aprotech, Appropriate Housing Technology or something like that. So they started from here, which is where we now call Asasipa. This place was called uh, Aprotech. So a lot of people who used to ply these routes or wanted to come here would say, hey, I'm going to Aprotech, I'm going to Aprotech. Now, after a while, the nightclub became a little bit down it was slow people were not really coming around until uh 1999 there about this property was leased to another group of people uh with a company called bis bis so bis came over here they took this place with the intention of establishing uh a, a resort or uh a well-being recreational center this place basically was going to be used for vegetarian products for uh, physiotherapy center and all that now this place was released to these people that i'm talking to you about the bis company who came from israel or they are israelis from the statement that was made on air so this israelis came through got this place for 50 years. Now, now the research states that in the documentation that was given out, they were supposed to pay an amount of 5,000 Ghana city for 50 years. 5,000 Ghana city. This whole place was given out for 5,000 Ghana cities. I know you would love to convert that in your currency. Yes. So the 5,000 Ghana city was asked to be paid for the 50 years lease. Now, only 1,000 was paid. These things that I'm telling you is by fact and findings from the Inkum people and then sources from a reportage that was made on this property on the day of demolition. Now, out of the 5,000 cities that were supposed to be paid, only 1,000 was paid. In the documentation, there was a clause that stated that after 25 years, there would be a renegotiation. Now, the CCMA and then this company, BIS company, after the renegotiation, decided not to continue with the deal. Now, the issue has to do with why are they not doing that? Why don't they want to come together again and continue this deal? A letter that I read stated that there was a breach in contract Yes, there was a breach in contract. And now that breach stated that the 5,000 Ghana CD that was supposed to be paid hasn't been paid from 1996 up till now. The yearly rent that the Israelis who own the company BIS was supposed to be paying the yearly rent, they refused to pay. The idea to which they came here to collect or get this property has not been materialized. So after a couple of years, there was an agreement with them to sit and talk about how best they could move on with this property. But I guess one or two parties didn't come. When I say one or two parties, it might come from party A or party B. This video is to inform you about this place and the issue that is pertaining to why this place was demolished. After this, I have made contact with party A, which is the company that had the buildings here, and then Part B, which is the CCMA or the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly. So after this video, I will definitely meet both parties and then we will share our story as to why this place was demolished. Now, let me show you more. Now, fast forward. After speaking to the reporter who was here, he made mention that 
the people around Cape Coast made a comment that since 1999, this place still looks the same. It means that when it comes to development, they've not seen much. Now, if I should tell you the truth, where this land is located is on a beautiful soil. It's on a beautiful location. This is just the sea on my left. This is just the sea. And right across, we have uh, the Nathan Institution here. We have one of the most patronized, biggest school in Ghana called uh, St. Augustine's here. And so this place really holds prospects. So for the CCMA to come in and take this from the people, I was confused by myself because if these people are ready to develop this place, why would CCMA take this property from them? Or CCMA, did they, did they take this property from them because the place lacked development? What is it? That is why I said I'm going to interview these people, these two parties, and then we'll talk about it. But I saw a letter when I came here and the letter is coming from CCMA. It was a notice that says that uh, you've been given this uh, breach of contract and persons involved in this situation are supposed to meet the CCMA and it looks like there wasn't any meeting coming from this party. So that letter that came here stated that after 30 days, if they don't hear anything from the party, they would come and demolish this place. This is a fact-finding situation. We are looking at the best way to inform the public that it is not the mindset of any Ghanaian to intimidate any African-American or any African diaspora. I've been contacted by a lot of people because I was quiet because I didn't want to talk about this. Because the moment you make a video or you make any contribution, one party or the other party will take side with you and say that, Echo, you take inside of the, the diaspora, you take inside of the, of, of the CCMA. I am here to inform you and to show you what exactly has gone down and the history that led, the brief history that led to the BIS company or the Israelis taking charge of this beautiful place called Asasipa. It was for a 50 years lease after 25 years. Uh, there was supposed to be a renegotiation. But during the renegotiation table, during that table, they realized that certain things that were supposed to be done by party A didn't come to pass. And so therefore, party B felt that if you didn't do what you were supposed to do, we are looking at development for Central Region. We are looking at more, more, more jobs for the people of Central Region. So research says that there was a court issue. There was court here and there. It means that the government of Ghana, the, 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 the court, knows about this issue. And the other thing is that, come forward a little bit. Let me, let me, step, let me step down. I remember there were buildings all over this place. I think there was uh, nine uh, round chalet. Uh, we have one here, two there, three there, four, four, five, six. This was like a summer hut. And that one too was like a summer hut. Uh, there were no seats there. And the building itself was here. There was a structure over this side. This was the entry point. Now the place is closed because I learned that the demolition took effect because there is an investor who is coming to build maybe three, four, five star hotel here, which may or may not benefit the people of Cape Coast. Now, this is the message that I want to send to our brothers and sisters out there. There is an issue with our brothers and sisters together with the local government. But when we have some of you make unnecessary videos, say whatever you want to say in connection to the beautiful Ghana, it really hurts a lot of people. I am sending this message across to the YouTubers out there who are... African diasporas. I don't want to mention names because I've not even watched the videos that are sent to me. But I've had about more than 50 people sending me message. Echo, what is happening in Ghana? 
why, why is the government taking buildings from these people, blah, 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 blah. Those making those videos, have you had the chance to go learn the history of this place? Have you had the chance to speak to the CCMA? Or your job is to still put Africa in a situation that was put in your head. If that is it, keep on doing that. But your video, your comment will never stop the whole of the African diaspora community coming to Ghana. Whoever you are, whichever people you are, Ghana is beautiful, Africa is beautiful, Cape Coast is beautiful. Nobody will just get up out of his own will and come and destroy um, a property that has been built for the betterment of Cape Coast. Why would that happen? Definitely, there was a court issue. Definitely, one person or two people might have breached the contract. But I am saying that I am not taking sides. The people of CCMA, the people of Cape Coast, and my brothers and sisters from the diaspora, it is, there's a saying in, in our, there's an adage in our, in our local language that says that, Asamaba Anona Wazaka, if there's an issue, it is the same people who talk about it. So why do we have people going out saying that Ghana, using the word Ghana to describe one activity that happened to destroy the whole of Ghana? I think the time is now for us to stop some of these things. It wouldn't help. People making videos saying people shouldn't come to Ghana, go to wherever, wherever. We are so Africans. Whether you come to Ghana, go to Nigeria, go to Tanzania, we will still be Africans. Let us build Africa together. Instead of using this negative event or negative attitude in projecting whatever sinister agenda people have, use the same energy positively and talk about how we can make Africa a better place. This video was just to inform you, to show you a little bit of Asasipa, the project that was demolished because there was a breach of contract. I am here in the middle speaking for my brothers and sisters in the diaspora, speaking for the CCMA, like I made mention earlier. I have made contact and maybe my next video will be an interview with either of the parties to tell you the side of the story. And this is Cape Coast, this is Ghana, this is a beautiful place to be. You've been so positive with us. Yes, I know you're watching this video. You've been so positive with it. A lot of people are building here. A lot of people have businesses here. A lot of people have families here. They've built connections and all that. Do not let this destroy the relationship that Africa has with Africans all over the world. This is a beautiful place. Let's try and maintain it. Now I'm going to shoot you a drone shot of this place just for you to have an idea where this land is. Even someone who is commenting, and that those videos haven't even been here. You've not even seen it. You only saw a lady. Who, I don't know who that lady is. She must be called to book. You know, you, just, you can't just say, I was passing by and I took my, 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 my phone. And why are they destroying the buildings? Why are they destroying it? Why? You see, making unnecessary videos just to tarnish the image of Cape Coast. But some of us will not allow that. The same way, if the CCMA refuse to do the right thing, I would come out here and make mention of that. CCMA, you didn't do your job well. If you had given them prior notice, like I saw in the statement in the letter, you have, may have done your work. But if you didn't do the right thing, CCMA will also come at you and tell you that, hey, we want the betterment of all Africans, not only Cape Coasters. So if there's anything that should be, should be done right, we need to do it right. I am so emotionally attached to this issue because uh, I have become like a mouthpiece to some African diasporas and everything that I do, whatever I say, they take it. So I came here purposely to answer a few questions. Echo, what is going on in Ghana? Nothing is going on. Ghana is nice, it's beautiful. You can attest to that. It is just that the two parties didn't come to an agreement. And my next video will tell you what happened. So let us try as much as possible not to tarnish the image of Central Region or tarnish the image of Cape Coast or tarnish the image of Ghana or Africa. Africa is beautiful. Wadamaya is doing his best 
okay, Wadamaya, he's traveling around Africa to show how beautiful Africa is. Don't you love that? So why do we go about giving out negative issues about things? Just a little thing, and then someone will, will generalize and say, Ghana. Meanwhile, there was only one, two events that happened, but they will say, Ghana. I think we have to re rethink when we are making certain statements or comments. This is Africa. We are all Africans. So until I come your way again with any video concerning the demolition of this chalet or this structure, let's, let's keep, let's, let's maintain the peace. Let's maintain the network. Let's maintain the relationship. If there is anything that is out there that you don't understand, I think the best thing is for you to inquire. Shout out to a lot of you who sent me messages asking me what the whole issue is about. I told them I would find out. So now, what is it? Let's build Africa together. Thank you very much.